no need to stress, you have found our tutorial video and we're going to guide you through this process. The great thing about a video is you can pause and go back as many times as you want until you've got it right. We've based these tutorial videos on the questions that we are most often asked. Let me open up Microsoft Word, click on mailings, click on labels. Let me type out exactly what I want on every single label. I'm going to click here and make sure that the label that I'm using matches the one written at the back of my pack. Click OK, click New Document, and that's the hard stuff. Now all I have to do is customize the text here. So I'd like this to click on Layout, and I'd like this centralized here. And go left or middle. Let's get the size increased. Let's make that bigger. And if I like, I can change the font as well. And there you have it. As easy as that. All I need to do now is click Print. For our second video, we're going to do a mail merge. We're going to make this as easy as possible by laying out all the steps. Number one, open MS Word. Number two, click on Mailings again. Number three, start mail merge. Number four, label, select your size. Number five, select your recipients. Number six, insert merge field. Number seven, update labels. And number eight, finish and merge. Then you're good to print. So let's have a look at exactly how we do that. Step one, open Microsoft Word. Step two, click on mailing. Step three, click on start mail merge, labels. Let me get my sizing right here. That's right. Okay, then I need to select the recipients. I'm going to use an existing list. I've stored mine on my desktop under labels today. Let me just double click that. Open it. Okay. Now it knows exactly where to pull the data from, but let's tell it what data I need. Insert merge field. You can double click each field. Or you can highlight and click insert, highlight and click insert, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Then you would want to line up each field. So click here and hit enter, click here and hit enter, and so on. Until I have everything lined up, I'm going to update fields so it pulls all of the data to the places that it's required and finish and merge here we go that's it and now we're good to print Ach when with Redfern printing labels is really easy